Hey, so I really wanted to do a video and dedicate it to my friend Eddie, who's gone through what I can only describe as what must be one of the worst things you can in your life to have someone special go missing and then to find that they're actually in heaven and you can do nothing about it. I don't know what you're going through, Eddie. I can only describe it as just dreadful. And today we lost our queen and that made me feel dreadful as well. Because she was really special. She, she was 96. And my nan was 98 when she went. So I, I don't know how the royal family must be feeling right now. A little bit like you are, I would imagine. Completely devastated, like the bottom's fallen out of their world. So Eddie, I dedicate this to you, my friend. And this is actually who I call Eddie. I'll tell you why. And at the moment, he's been hiding like that because I figured that you might be trying to hide your tears and everything. Because look, it's actually called Eddie. Eddie Toys. It came with one of my special Reborns. And I kind of carted it around for a long time when you were really reassuring to me where well, way back. You're really helpful to me, Eddie, when, you, when your messages pop up and you really care for me. I don't know what I'd do without my American friends, to be honest. People on Facebook are really, really helpful to me. And I honestly don't know what I'd do without you guys. Um, that goes for everybody that I've met on Facebook, regardless of what country you're from. You're like an extension of my family. And I'm really grateful to you. And I'm really, just really, really thankful. There you see, you have an amazing smile, don't you, Eddie? So there you are. You have to excuse the state of my lounge. You have to remember that I can't really lift anything at the moment to tidy up. So there you are, you make a nice noise, don't you? <laughs> I hope you manage to watch the rest of my videos. Don't scare yourself with the one about my surgery, because really it wasn't that bad, and they made it as pleasant as they could. I dare say it's... Oh! Oh my goodness, Gabby's just popped up with a message. Um, um, that's distracted me a little bit now. Um, what was I saying? I can't remember what I was saying now. Anyway, this Eddie actually came with my Asian baby, who I got when um, Martha um, actually... Well, my little girl actually came out of my care when she was eight, between eight and nine. And my Asian baby came into my care then. And that's when Eddie came into my care. And um, Eddie's a flower and I love flowers. That's why on my Facebook page you often find pictures of flowers because flowers are really pretty and smell really good. And actually for my birthday, my little girl and... Um, sent me the most amazing um, sets of smellies. They smell so amazing of lavender. And I've been taking them upstairs to my bedroom because they, they just smell really, really good. And um, I just absolutely love the smell of those. Anyway, I got some lovely things for my birthday. I really did. And um, I went for a nice meal as well with my parents that was really special to me. And I've got a special soft toy over here that my brother sent me. It's a prickly pear and I call it chocolate one. <laughs> so here are some of my other soft toys. I call this one MJ. I, I don't know why, but I, he's like Michael Jackson to me. <laughs> Look at his shoes. I was going to take him into hospital with me, but I didn't. But there's his band. I didn't take him with me. This is Nightcap. He sleeps in a sleeping bag. And this is Gecko. I know I'm completely insane. This is the chair that I sit in all the time. Look, I've got my royal cushion out. Oh, dear old Queenie. What's the country going to do without our Queen? I really don't know, Eddie. Anyway, I hope this cushion cheers you up. Oh... Eddie, I don't know what to say. 
I don't know what to say to cheer you up or to get you talking to me again. How good toys, Abby. How good babies and how good dolls. Because they're the ones that will bring you through this. Your family and your friends. I think you're a believer, so believe in your God, Eddie. Because they will get you through. I know that person can't ever be replaced, can she? I don't know what to say, really. Because it must just be terrible. And every single time I lost somebody when I was working with all those special children, I... It was dreadful, and I remember the first time, the first time really, <sighs> it was shocking. And I won't say it gets any easier, because it doesn't, but I'm here for you, Eddie. I'm here for you, and I'll never go away. I'll always be here for you. I'll always be here, and I'll never go away, and my love will never waver. I just wanted to say that to you, Eddie, tonight. I'll always be here at any time of the day or night. God bless, Eddie. Lots of love.